you are out here because it's my Grandmother, here I didn't oh, notice yet. Okay. You can go out too. You have the whole family. I'm sorry I didn't notice. Somebody told me you like yoga. Yeah. Oh, are you seeing that? We're seeing Tora. <laughs> well, we have for you good night yoga, a pose by pose. Somebody told me that you like musicals and singing and dancing. And this book is given to the Canterbury School Library. Gratitude to Almighty God and in honor of Penelope. Love, Mom, Dad, and Sienna. And how about a birthday song for Penelope?
It is the first Wednesday of December. Kindergarten is going to be singing, so look at Blooms and School of G for lots more information. Thank you. While we're talking about books, the Upper Campus is having a book fair right now. Uh, so if you are interested, we're third, fourth grade books up there. So if you're interested in going up there and looking at what they have, you are more than welcome to do that. Uh, we have some guests here today, some of our varsity cheerleaders. Hi, my name is Grace. I started in Canterbury as a freshman. Hi, my name is Abby. I started in Canterbury when I was a sophomore. My name is Mackenzie, and I started in Canterbury when I was a sixth So tomorrow night, the varsity cheerleaders are hosting a spirit dinner at Chipotle. It's the 780 address on 4th Street. If you come between 4 and 8 and you tell them that you're with Canterbury, 50% um, of the proceeds will go back to us. So make sure you um, say that you're with Canterbury and come out and support them. Thank you very much, ladies. Okay, a quick reminder that uh, tomorrow, tomorrow's Thursday, tomorrow we are going to be wearing regular uniforms, okay? And then Friday we're going to be wearing our chapel dress because we will have special guests on campus, our grandparents. So make sure you tell your grandparents about that. Uh, Ms. Ozenmacher, do you have something to share today? Good morning. We have two more fourth graders that would like to share their writing today. We have Debsy and we have Ella. And we wrote color poems yesterday. So they've kind of crafted uh, their sentences very carefully. And their poems are dedicated to their grandparents. Dear grandparents, I don't need the rents. The color will be shy, soft, locks that are backing its way into the shadows of the ocean. The color of a ripe red rose swaying in the summer wind. The color of a bright, beautiful sunset suntanning the afternoon sea. A vibrant, bursting ruby. A ripe red apple. The color of a bright, golden fire, golden fire beaming in, in the night sky. The color, the color of a colorful tulip swaying in a field. The color of a crunchy, colorful, and in a way they should need to be bought. I love you, the red. Thank you. 
Yes, uh, actually she's going to take a picture for us. So uh, we appreciate that Ms. Alvarado has, uh, has you know, done this this year and y'all did it last year as well. So we're very excited that we can make a difference. Awesome. Very good. Thank you for sharing. 
Okay, let's go around the flag, everyone.